once you have declared an array that has a specific size, we want to start putting values into each element of the array. In order to do this, we use its index in brackets after the array name. So if we want to change specific values of each element in the array, we use the name of the array itself, the identifier, the index for the part of the array that we want to change, and then we change it through assignment. Okay, very similar to how we are assigning variables. So for the first element of my array, I want to assign the value of Wolverine. I can assign each element after that in the same way using the correct index. until I have assigned each index or each element of the array. So I now have an, ar an array that has five elements with index zero through four, and each one has a specific value. An array is accessed by including its index and brackets after the array name as well. So for example, if I want to output the information or the value that's stored in the third element, I would use index 2. Let's be descriptive in our output. So the third member of the team is and the third element has an index of two because we started zero remember the third element will have an index of two so that if i run this program it should tell me that the third member is green jean gray and it does i can also change the value of that same element later on with the same assignment operation. So instead of Jean Grey, maybe it's Beast. And if I take that same output statement, copy and paste it below, it should show me that the third element has now changed to Beast. And Jean Grey will no longer be stored in the array. If you try to access an index that is not inside this array, so if we try to access a number, an index number that's larger than four, an error will be generated. So if I wanted to access, say, if I thought that there was a sixth member in this team, I will receive an error. Since the size is limited to what is this, what was set up early on, I cannot use an element that's out of that index or larger than the last index. If you are unsure of the length of an array or would like to know what the length of an array is, there's a quick way to access what that actual length is. We can use the name of the array dot length. So this will give me how many members are actually in the team? So there are this many members in the team. So there are five members in the team, which is the same as saying there are five elements in the array. 